Hi everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal and it's now 6.30 at night. Oh, excuse me. I'm leaving the downtown area. Um, I've just had a fabulous day. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, pretty sure that the Fijians are going to win this tomorrow. They had the round robin today. I I really I really had such fun. I sat almost the whole time. The only time I left my seat was to go uh, to the washroom or to go get food, and that's pretty good for somebody of my age to be able to sit through all of that. But it was so exciting. It was really fun, exciting to watch if you enjoy sports very fast paced very so, some games were totally <laughs> whitewash games you know? and yet some of the others were very very um, close and made it very exciting to watch so definitely well worth it I would do it again in fact I said to Dougie you know in case you're gonna invite me for next year the answer is yes please <laughs> And my, but my only regret was that I gave away my ticket for tomorrow because I knew that Dougie would have friends that he would want to see the actual final day with. And I know that he would have given me the seat quite gladly. And I know that. But I was very grateful for the seat that I had. <laughs> trying to think of some of the memorable moments for me. One of the most memorable mo moments without a doubt was the fact that the women's washrooms you could get into them. Everybody, so here I am with Izzy. Hi and, uh, everybody! Izzy just made exactly the same <laughs> comment that I did. There's a guy's lineup in the washroom lineup. No <laughs> girls lineup. Look we at us, we're we absolutely just... empty here and the guys are lining up like we normally have to do. And they're not smart enough to come into the ladies washroom. Because we kill them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they do talk. Right. They, they, they go to jail. But the thing is, we're smart enough to come to an event like this and thoroughly enjoy it. Anyway, Izzy, thank and you so proudly much. Canadian. Very proudly Canadian. <laughs> thank you. I actually have no idea where I'm going right now. I do not really want to be going. Hmm. Never mind. That's what life's about, right? Scenic route. Just to park was 30 bucks. Uh, the very good news was that along with the very fancy ticket, they also gave us, uh, I think it was like 50 bucks worth of spending money for the food, which is very nice of them. And I used most of that up in very unhealthy food, including red wine poutine, which was really good definitely a memory for me. The whole lot was quite a memory action. I was just checking in with Dougie how close we got to this. We ran the event for five years and you understand we, we started this. We ran it for five years and we did our final year in 2012. And we just needed to hang on for another three years, really. <laughs> to do that, we would have been running this event today. But we didn't. And as we said many times today, had we just done it for the money, we would be sad. But luckily we did it for the, for the good of the sport. That was our thinking. And we did that well. So I'm very happy and very lost right now. But I'm just following the flow on the principle that 
maybe somebody here knows where they're going and it's not me I may have to turn this off and get my uh, map going <laughs> so anyway really great day everybody um, I hope you've been able to see a little bit of Vancouver out of the window that is my hope but I need my map now otherwise I'm going to be running around in circles here forever <laughs> this is dear mama soul saying I hope you've enjoyed some of the footage and uh, I'll speak to you soon bye bye for now